This video provides an overview of 3Shape Trios patient monitoring and guides you through the steps to getting started with monitoring patients. To get patient monitoring, just press Upgrade in the Settings page. After upgrading, it must be enabled to appear in your workflow. Under Trios Patient Monitoring Settings, check the box to the right of Patient Monitoring Enabled. Enabling patient monitoring in settings makes it part of your workflow for all patients. Now, for every patient with a minimum of two scans, the patient monitoring icon will appear in the workflow bar. We recommend that you scan every patient on every visit to get the most value from patient monitoring. To use patient monitoring, please ensure that all scans are post-processed and that each case is created under the same patient ID. Now that we have a patient with two or more scans, simply press the patient monitoring icon and the workflow bar will expand to show the workflow steps of patient monitoring. The first step you will encounter is segmentation. This step separates the teeth from the gingiva and labels each tooth. If you are offline, segmentation needs to be performed manually. In segmentation, you are required to inspect and accept the segmentation of each scan. Corrections or modifications can be done if needed. To learn more, go to the segmentation video. To use automatic segmentation, please make sure that you have signed in to your Communicate account. Being signed in to Communicate and an internet connection are the two requirements for the user to be able to send scan data to the server where segmentation takes place. After segmentation, an alignment step happens automatically in the background. Scan pairs are overlaid in chronological order, so they can be compared. Alignment by default does not appear in the workflow bar. If you want it to appear in the workflow bar, you can enable it in the patient monitoring settings. In the compare scan step, there are two options, measurement and simulation. In measurements, there are three tools that can be used to inspect and measure. Tooth comparison difference map highlights the tooth specific changes, which can be used for tracking changes to a specific tooth caused by erosion, abrasion, attrition, chipping, and so forth. Scan comparison difference map shows global differences, such as the movement of teeth. 2D cross-section tool shows a cross-section of two overlaid scans. To select which scans to compare and inspect, move the sliders underneath the timeline. The beige slider controls which scan to display in color, while the blue slider controls which scan is being compared to it. In the tooth comparison difference map, you can adjust the thresholds using the threshold bar on the right. White regions indicate that comparison data is missing on one of the scans. Pressing on any point on a tooth surface will provide a point-specific measurement. The same applies to the scan comparison difference map. Note that the difference map here encompasses the entire model, including the gingiva. This enables you to see tooth movement changes, such as in orthodontic treatment cases. To use the cross-section tool, select the scans you want to compare on the timeline, and then draw a line on the 3D model, where you want the cross-sectional view. You can adjust the cross-section's orientation and position by dragging the blue dots that appear on the plane. The resulting cross-section appears by default on the cross-section sub-window. This window can be enlarged using the Maximize button. In this view, the 3D scene now appears in a small window in the upper left corner. Pressing on this window switches between these two views. To make a measurement, press on any two points on the cross-section's outlines and a green line will appear 
alongside a linear distance measurement. In simulation, the patient scans are arranged chronologically on a timeline, as shown by the blue squares with the scan dates above. By pressing play, an animated transition between scans is shown. This allows for powerful communication and visualization that engages the patient. Note that you can manually move between scans using the arrow icons on either side of the play icon. Now you can get started with monitoring your patients with TRIOS Patient Monitoring. Thank you for watching.